Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and today we're going to look at Chebyshev's theorem. So what happens when your data is not normally distributed? Here's a histogram of the percentage of fat and when we look at this, when we look at this we get this kind of real wonky looking curve, clearly not normal, which means we can't apply the empirical rule or normal distribution to it. Instead, in the case of non-normal distribution or a distribution where the shape is not known, we're going to apply Chebyshev's theorem. And Chebyshev simply says we can find out the percentage of data that falls within k standard deviations of the mean, where k represents the number of standard deviations. And we do that by taking 1 minus 1 over k squared, and we're going to multiply it by 100 because we want to express it as a percentage. And this formula and theorem will apply as long as k is greater than 1. In other words, we have to go further than one standard deviation from the mean. And that's clearly because if I substitute 1 in for k, then 1 squared is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, and you can kind of see where the wheels come off. So we'll always be moving further than one standard deviation from the mean. So we have computers from a company are found to last on average for three years without any hardware malfunction. They have a standard deviation of two months. The shape of the distribution of the computer life is not known. At least what percentage of the computers are going to last between 31 and 41 months. Well, as soon as we saw that the shape of the distribution was not known, we knew that the empirical rule went right out the window, and now we're stuck with the Russian. So let's see what that's going to look like. So we'll get kind of a wonky looking curve here. First thing I have to do is you'll notice that the mean is expressed in three years, but the standard deviation is in months. We're asked about months, so those years have to come down here and give us that expressed in months. So the mean is 36 months, the standard deviation is 2 months, and what we want to know is what percentage are going to last between 31 and 41 months. So down here I have an x of 31, up here I have an x of 41, I'm looking for the percentage of data that falls in here. So I know that I need a value for k, right? So k is the number of standard deviations. So my question is, how many standard deviations did it take me to move from 36 to 41 months if each standard deviation moved me two months? So I'm going to find that distance. I'm going to say 41 minus 36 is going to give me 5. So that means there's five months between here and here. If I need to express that in terms of standard deviations, I'm simply going to say, oh, okay. If I'm moving five months, each standard deviation moves me two months, I know that that's going to move me a net or a total of 2.5 months. So now I know that k is equal to 2.5. And I just double check down here from 31 to 36 is also 5, so I'm good. So now I'm going to carry that number of standard deviations of k equals 2.5, and we'll finish this bad boy up. All right, so I figured out that k was equal to 2.5. So I get my trusty Chebyshev's theorem formula, 1 minus 1 over k squared times 100. And now I'm simply going to substitute in to that for k. And I get 1 minus 1 over 2.5, remember that squared times 100, is going to give me 1 minus 1 over 6.25, again, times 100. And so I know now that that's 1 minus 0.16 times 100 is going to give me 0.84 times 100 is going to give me 84 percent. So what I know now is that when I looked at that
kind of wonky looking curve and I had 31 months down here and had 41 months up there that somewhere within this interval is going to be contained 84 percent of my data just remember that even though the mean is here right, that doesn't mean that 42 percent is here and 42 percent is here we sent this theorem simply tells us that in total within two and a half standard deviations of the mean we'll have this 84 percent of our data as always I hope that you found this useful and thanks for watching